first, Irina Bloom is here. Irina is a machine quilter with a background in garment making and a dedicated amateur artist. She instructs at many of the major shows and is here today to talk to us about coloring quilts. Welcome, Irina. I'm happy to be here, well, Linda. We're thrilled to have you here. Um, I know the viewers want to know a little bit more about you. The, the buzz is all over there and they've heard about you and seen your work at shows and you've won, what, seven major awards in shows? 31. 31! <laughs> oh my goodness! And you have been, <laughs> oh God, and you have been quilting, a long arm quilter for? For a little bit over two years. Two years. A little bit over two years? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Where, um, that really blows everybody away because your work is just so phenomenal and you've come up with this special technique that we're excited about. So let's talk about the quilts that you brought to show us today. Tell us their names and tell us a little bit about them. This one is a is Full Bloom Extravaganza. I made it for, especially ma made it for a Paducah show and uh, it has been uh, going from show to show for one year. Oh, it is it absolutely is, gorgeous. It the is a um, raw edge applique uh, which has been stitched to the quilt, to this quilt sandwich. Okay, so using the little my long arm. Okay. With using my long arm. You stitch that on with your long arm and yes. then stitch detail onto those. Onto oh. those and then after all the stitching was complete, mm -hmm. the main design and the background, I did uh, use colored pencils to color the quilt and textile medium oh to make it permanent. Oh, it is, it's just breathtaking. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely breathtaking. And this one? Uh, this one, uh, I used Shiva paint sticks. Mm -hmm. it, it still was the same, done in the same fashion as the other one. There is no applique, however. Mm -hmm. uh, I used uh, Shiva paint sticks to color this quilt. Wow. So the other one was colored pencils and colored this one pencils is paint sticks. And this sticks. is okay. a, a Shiva paint sticks, mm -hmm. which are oil-based mm -hmm. paints. Mm -hmm. Oh, and your design, just, you know, everything that you put together is just, and, and then the thread painting on top of that is just wonderful, just beautiful. Thank you. Okay, the next one is uh, um, Experiment in Color, which has been submitted, not painted to MQS. Then I decided to paint it because it, it does look so much better. It just gives the color gives the gives a different light. So it's already been in a show, not painted, and then yes. you took it and painted and then it. Yes, oh, I painted it fun. and then submitted to another show. So no, no quilt is beyond hope. We can just paint them, right? Yes. Okay, <laughs> that's great. We don't like them. If you don't like them, it. you paint them. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have one more. And then I have a, a, a butterfly parade, Ooh. which has been in a few shows and one couple of uh, awards mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that 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 quilt is basically done using Gamil's design center uh -huh. using a, a design tool design well, that's tool. wonderful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, like all of them they are stitched first uh -huh. complete then I take the color to them then you paint them then I give them a new life oh well we're <laughs> excited to see this technique and you know Probably the viewers by now know that you have a, a bit of an accent. Yes, <laughs> as soon as I open my mouth, everybody knows I am so not born here. So why don't you tell us, you know, where okay, you're from? Okay, I was born in Poland and I lived there for 33 years. Then I moved to Germany and I lived there for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to United States and I stay here for 16 years. So let's let's get started on our project here okay. and see what you have. I start with a blank slate, I call it. A blank I slate. I really love it. So it these are all really whole cloths, uh -huh. aren't they? Yes. They're just all it whole is cloths. Just, I start with a piece of uh, just white fabric. Okay. And what and kind of what kind of fabric do you like to use? Is it muslin? I, I used to, for many quilts, I used to uh, uh, use muslin, uh -huh. but you do uh, advise me to, <laughs> <laughs> to use satin because yes. I, I invest so much work. Yes, this satin is So this is, is satin, it's 100% cotton satin mm -hmm. and it works beautifully for this uh, technique. And works with your colors and, and everything. And it, it does work great right. because it is 100% cotton. Okay, now is there a special batting that you need to use when you're using these? The most important uh, thing with this technique is using 100% Cotton. 100% cotton batting. Yes. Okay. The higher loft, the better. Okay. Because okay. we are using textile medium, which mm -hmm. is a liquid. 
Okay. Some of them are like uh, liquid soap consistency. Mm -hmm. Some of them are thinner. Some of them are so they can go through the quill. Yes, that, so that could be right. Right. Okay. So we, we don't want any stains on the back. No. This is how I have <laughs> some quills that I've painted on the back. Okay. <laughs> so you paint them on the back. If it goes through, then you have to paint the whole back. Yes. Okay. We got that one. I learned my lessons the hard way, <laughs> and. Um, uh, I just finished uh, a, man a book manuscript, uh -huh. and oh the good, book you've hopefully. written a book, so we can yes. really have and this information. And I explained in uh, in very in detail, very detailed mm -hmm. way, uh, how to use this technique. Not only on whole cloth, it can be used on many on different. Other it can as be well. it can be used with applique. It can be oh used yeah. in piece work. Mm -hmm. Wherever you find a blank blank slate. <laughs> <laughs> Then we can color it. Then you can color it. Well, that's wonderful. That's okay, wonderful. and I use colored pencils. And you've made I all the mistakes, so we don't have to do that. Right, okay. right. I, I went through that, learning the hard way. Oh, this is a nice set of pencils here. Okay. Yes, this these are um, mm, oil-based uh, colored pencils. Oil-based colored pencils. They are very creamy, and mm -hmm. um, the color is very, very uh, easy to apply because they are soft. Oh, good. Can you use any other kinds of pencils or? Yes, uh, in the big uh, on many quilts. On s as a matter of fact, on seven of my quilts, mm -hmm. I I was buying them. I I, I was buying my my uh, uh, pencils at mm -hmm. Walmart. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. so it they worked. can be inexpensive. Yeah, can, well, yes, okay. uh, as long as they are soft. Okay, and thick leads. And thick leads. Okay. Because because so you don't want fine point anything. Right. Okay. Because we are dealing with uh, with uh, fiber, mm -hmm. with fabric, so. We need to rub the uh, the pigment. So do you have to be a tall painter? I know you can no. talk as you're painting. Yeah, uh, so you really uh, don't need to have an uh, art background in it. Oh, good. Because in, many in of us do to not have an art background. And um, I also want to know why you, why um, you you said you were an why amateur artist. <laughs> I don't because think I that. did art for uh, twelve years as a hobby. Oh, okay. I <laughs> never took it pro to a professional level. Obviously, I was not um, uh, serious enough about well, it. Well, you're professional. <laughs> well, now. I was doing something else. So yes. So you didn't get your machine to quilt for other people. You just got your machine to to have, have fun. To have fun. <laughs> And as you see, the more pressure you apply, uh -huh. the, darker. the darker color you get. Okay. And it's very easy. It's very easy, very relaxing. So all that coloring we did in the grade school is going to pay off here. Absolutely. Okay. All you that trying to stay in the uh, lines. As, as you see here, I can make a little dimple. Uh huh. Oh, neat. And just keep coloring. Yes. It's very oh, easy. This, this looks is very relaxing too, actually. It, and uh, see, uh, because it's so safe. Look, look at this. It's you don't have to worry uh, about ruining your coat mm -hmm. because you what are dealing. What if you did go out of lines? Would you need to worry? A, a little bit, but I have <laughs> I have solution for that. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. Hmm. So you've gone out of lines occasionally, huh? Sometimes. Sometimes. When when, when uh, the pencil slips. Okay. But it's so uh, what's the solution for that? I have a tie to go. Everybody's familiar oh, with that. Oh, okay. We've seen that on our show before. Mm -hmm. And so, boy, those are handy little things. Yes. So you just put that on there. Yes. So you're leaving a little white area. A little white area to uh, to show the 3D dimension. Mm -hmm. Make it, make the flower pop a little bit mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Now do you put darker around the edges? Darker and in around the edges. Okay. I just. Uh, do the basic color, and then I take another darker shade of color, and just go around the edges and darken them up. Just a little bit more like outlining. Yes. Okay. And as you see, it's very easy. Anybody can do that, really. It's very relaxing. Well, you have to have the quilted piece to start <laughs> with. Yes. <laughs> So but that's it, so fun. For for quilters who don't do any machine quilting, mm -hmm. they can have a, a, a piece the stitched by Stutter that's Stitcher. Right. Ask the somebody to do that. The computerized quilting yes. machine could do that. Yes. Or do something. Or do some using a, a, or, or yes, yeah. or using mm -hmm. domestic sewing machine, mm -hmm. stitch some design out, mm -hmm. and uh, color it. So then we have our darker area. 
Very what nice. we can do. Uh, on some coats, I, I did leave this here in white, mm -hmm. but uh, what, what I can do is add another color and make my flower petals, petals two color. Just kind of blend them way, in together. Yes. yes, I see. And you can go over that color. It's just another uh -huh. little hue. Mm -hmm. Do you audition, mm. you know, on a little piece like this before you go yes, to Yes, I am trying my colors. Mm -hmm. Try them out. And yes, and, and, and see if I like them. Uh -huh. Because many, when you buy a, um, a box of even 120, yes. you, you What's still 120? need I don't know. 120 pe uh, pencils? pencils in okay. one box. It's they. like a set of pencils. Uh -huh. And um, some you need to try the colors first okay. because you may not even like them when the way they show up on the fabric. Okay, and I guess fabric takes color differently. Now, does this color stay on this fabric like this? Right done, now, you know? I, if no. I washed it, it would come out? Not like this. Okay. When you wash this, after, if, if we wash this right now, mm -hmm. it would come off. It, it would, would come only off. Okay. leave a little hue. Okay. 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 So therefore, there is, a, there is a way to make the color permanent okay. and, and put uh, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. I put a textile medium over it mm -hmm. and I treat it as if it was a paint. So I use oh, a brush. Oh, okay. Okay. So we really get to use a paintbrush. Yes. That's wonderful. So this is why I call it painting. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> See what you do. Okay, so you get some of uh, that. I, I have three different textile mediums uh -huh. mixed in here in okay. this jar. So you found just the perfect mixture. Just the perfect mixture, mm -hmm. and uh, I am talking about that in my book. You probably have with experimented all with all kinds yes, of things I to did. make sure that yes. this doesn't wash out. And after this here is dry and it's cured for six to ten days, it can oh. be washed. Okay. However, so don't wash it for six to ten days. Yes, <laughs> okay. you need to be patient. Okay. <laughs> mm. Now, and does this ever easy. smear onto another part of the quilt? If it does, then the, then I mean, I can see me laying my arm there. All oh, right, oh. there is this. There is a book where, is the, where the book comes in. Oh, okay. The book does gives tell you ideas you what on not, not to, to do. do. Okay. And what you, you can do, you can, I do even steam my coats. Okay. Uh, the way they are after they are painted, mm -hmm. they come. They come from. They go to shows. They come back, and I don't like. They they come back with wrinkles. Mm -hmm. So I I use the steamer. So okay. So I think that when my coat does stand up to the steamer. It can stand up it to anything. It can stand up to anything, you're yes. right. Yes, because that's very hot. Yes, it's, it's harsh. It's, hot. It is a harsh treatment. Yes. Uh, you can use a steamer as long as you don't press hard uh -huh. and drag. Okay. You're okay. okay. So don't just push hard yes, and just don't drag. Right, okay. right. All right. So you just let that cure just after you get that. It first it needs to dry mm -hmm. and then it just needs to set for a few days and then it's ready to go to show. But All right. it, it, I can send it to show next day, as soon as this dries. And I oh, have done can, that. Oh, you can, because... Yes. And yeah. I have done that. Okay, as long as they're not gonna wash it, then you're it's fine. safe, right. Okay. So you work at the last minute, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, very often, well, that very was, often. That was really cool. Let's just take a look at um, one of the finished wall hangings here. Yes, we saw the blank slate, the and blank I started slate. working on it. And then here's Now we have we a finished create. product. And it looks like you used basically some of the same colors that yes, you started over yes. there. And, and here I used some pink with my, it with put my into purple. The purple. It's gorgeous. What the, color pens what the colored pencil does, it mm -hmm. gives you a total control, but I am not I am not after being a control <laughs> freak. <laughs> I am after uh, having to talk total control over a technique. Uh -huh. Because see, using the colored pencils and, and the sharp points mm -hmm. uh, m enables me to to do really get in there very fine. high detail. Yes, very. Which would be very difficult if I did the painting first and then started. Oh, it would be really hard to stay the right other on the way edge. around. Yes. This is so nice. This is so nice, and I know the viewers are going to be thrilled to um, have been able to watch you do that. And thank you so so much for being on my show. I appreciate it. Thank you. I was happy to be here. <laughs>